here all by yourself. You want to come with me, pal? Okay, then. Let's stick together.
Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Maybe? I'm just nope. passing through. Fair enough. But the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? And those raiders want us all dead, including you. Huh. I have my own problems, Garvey. Yeah? Like what? You help us, maybe we can help you. My son Sean's been kidnapped. He's not even a year old. That's messed up. I'm sorry. I know how this world can be. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. Maybe? You really aren't from around here, are you? <sighs> nope. Ghouls are... irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and huh. live for a long time. Uh but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. They'll rip you apart God just as it. soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Let's hear it. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck.
Hey there. You plan on dying today? No? Then move it. Careful, kid. There's something coming. We need help. And we get it's a vault dweller? It's what are you angry. going to do in that stupid jumpsuit? Bleed to death? Now look who dog me brought to us. He's a good dog. Smart, too. Oh, indeed. Dog mate's good at finding folks who need him. And he'll stick by you now. I saw it. Visions. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. This old lady, she's out of her mind. But it's the chems. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. I'm listening. I can see a bit of what was and what will be. And even... What is right now? Uh, and right now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. I'm... I'm sorry, kid. But I just don't know. The sight ain't always clear. But believe me when I tell you, it ain't a raider. <sighs> but I'm tired now. And if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. We can't just stay trapped in here. This is ridiculous. S somebody do something. Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I gathered, this Flaherty and Castle Global shot by scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldiering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck, and God bless America, for what's left of it.
No sign of him now. Take it easy, Mom. You're very fine, Preston. Quit fussing. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen. When we first met, you said you were just passing through. Well, maybe this will help you reconsider. Ain't much, but it's the best we can do. And you've earned it. What happens now? For the longest time, Mama Murphy's had a vision of a place called Sanctuary. Some old neighborhood, but one we can make new again. Why don't you come with us? I could really use your help. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been. Because there's more to your destiny. I've seen it. And I know your pain. Okay. I'm listening. You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel... Your son's energy. He's alive. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. Great green jewel of the Commonwealth, Diamond City, the biggest settlement around. That's vague. Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No, Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, hold turn hold out on, any hold worse on. than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. 
Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh. Okay.
Well, I have picked up a few minor scratches and, dare I say, stains. But all in all, the inner workings are top notch. And I see you've taken up a new look. I take it the missus approves. Where is the wife, by the way? Just wanted to trade a few things.
Let's trade. What's going on? Can we trade a few things? <sighs> no time to lay about. This place ain't gonna fix itself. Hi. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? I don't know. It's strange being back here. What do you mean? You used to live here or something? Yeah. Before the war. Before everything was ruined. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are Minutemen out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The Minutemen could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Sturgis. You willing to do some work? I'd be glad to help. Just tell me what you need. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Oh, yeah? You spent a little time on the run when you were young. Hey, Sturgis. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. Yeah, Great. Thanks Sounds again. Like the adventure. Was. Someday, I'll tell you all about it. Sturgis. I feel better already, knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're gonna settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. I'll start planting right away. Good deal.
Hey, Sturgis. Well, this place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. It'll make everyone feel more secure here. Hey, Sturgis. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. Hey there. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. If I told you I'm with the Minutemen, would you still want to shoot me? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days. After Quincy. Bad business, that. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear it. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. I'll kick their asses for you. No problem. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, there'll be a welcome change for the better. General Atomic's finest. So, this is the famous Diamond City.
Cooper. Anyone is one of those things. It's the secretary. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies. What? I mean. I told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Rage are too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Don't worry, I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. Mm-hmm. 
So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to work as we gone all the time back in World War. Get a bunch of Union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? What is that? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing you got. Really? I saw him run. I'm down in the black hole. How's he cheating, partner? <laughs>
Aha, my knight in shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way? Risk life and limb. An old private eye. My son, Sean, is missing. He was kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man. Not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Malone's crew here used to be small time. Muscle down with the old neighborhood. Time to tell. Let me see key. if I can get it open. Almost got there we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side.
Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for him somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. What's the deal with you people and Nick, anyway? Darla's a runaway. Her father wanted me to bring her back home. Turns out she skipped town to be with my old pal Skinny Malone. Mob boss. Never thought he'd manage to scrape together a big enough crew to take over a vault. Guess life's full of surprises. Hey, who's running this show here? You got something to say? Say it to me. You and Nick know each other? <laughs> this troublemaker here used to be a real headache back in the day. Before we got kicked out of the old neighborhood. <laughs> Must have done this dance a hundred times. Enemies are kind of the closest thing you get to friends in these parts. Now quit stalling. You gonna talk? Talk. This is all just a misunderstanding, Skinny. You know that. You let us walk, and we won't come back. Like hell you won't! Don't you get it? All the other crews in the area will see this as weakness. Then they'll come for me! Sorry. Time to give you both the hard goodbye. <laughs> Service lab should take us right to the surface.
Nick. Are you ready to talk? How do you know to find me down in that old vault? Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Butcher Pete. What's with you vault dwellers? Well, well, just doing butcher sorts of things. Everyone else may be loaded. Oh man, you got a robot butler? in safety. No synths allowed at the surplus. We got small arms, long arms, ammunition. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want a history lesson. Charge yourself. That's what you things do, right? What? What are you? Damn it, Myrna. I ain't a sin. I was shopping here just yesterday for crying out loud. That would have given the Institute an entire evening to snatch you up and replace you. I'm not taking this. I'm gone. Sin free shopping, right here. Don't be caught dead. <laughs> Protection from Commonwealth weaponry. for sale hand tool pieces buy a swatter that game 
changer. Don't walk outside the wall undefended. You read the paper. High protection Take for sale. Hiding among us. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, Death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Metal detective delivery, at your service. Happy to be in a niche market, that's for sure. Here, I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but... You deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know... If you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. What else can you tell me? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners, and of course there's the Institute. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me, and I'm a synth myself. Discarded prototype, anyway. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. Couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? No. They never said their names. Mm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. There's no way that could be Sean. Yeah, big difference between an infant and a 10-year-old, but that doesn't mean we're on the wrong track. He could have a son of his own. Or maybe he's turned kidnapping into a bad habit. In any event, they both vanished a while back. No trace. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but... You two should still be careful. I always am.
didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance is bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. But nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Won't be able to pick this. Keep an eye out, will you? Kellogg, why don't you give it a try? Is Mayor McDonald telling the truth? What does he have to hide? Read the public for the hard questions. in no mood to talk about any of this synth nonsense. Unless you're looking for a housing permit, I can't help you. I'm looking for work. Mercenary type? We usually have a few open bounties. Just check the... No funny business around the neck. <laughs> Enjoy your stay in Diamond City. Now, excuse me. Mayor McDonough? I'd love to talk, but I have matters to attend to. too busy to talk right now. I'm the mayor, after all. No! Psst. Sir! That's what you want.
Hey, Valentine. Follow me. Let's check out this house Kellogg left vacant. I uh, didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg's door is just a He's more than just a mercenary. M.O. is all him. Nick. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. Hold your horses. No way I could pick this. That's one heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't Lock's you really give it strong. Hey, Valentine. Stubborn lock, ain't it? No luck? I guess we'll need to find the key. Hmm. I can't get through that door. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Come running. You ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less. Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? I'm trying to track down a man named Kellogg. Interesting. That's the guy who bought the house in the abandoned West Stands. Had that kid. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. I don't have time. I need that key now. Why is finding this key so important to you, honey? Maybe we can reach an agreement? I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key out on my desk and forgetting to put it back. Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something. Are we packed well, rats now, sir? That's one way to hide a room. Well, look at this. 
this. All of a Merc's favorite thing. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Getting us anywhere. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. Can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. Good luck. Anytime you need help, just come knocking. 